Hi, this is Big Mike uh, coming to you with episode number five. Pour me a cold one. Um, first of all, I want to say this is the last episode. I want to thank everybody for uh, tuning in and getting responses and stuff. I hope that you uh, you liked the uh, other episodes. Uh, got some good feedback, so I want to say thank you for checking it in. Basically, this was just a, uh, a thing for me to introduce people that might not be from the craft beer background. Um, just take a peek into the world that I'm in now, um, that I have been for about five and a half years. Uh, and I just wanted to give some recognition to uh, some local breweries and cideries uh, that have been doing some really good work. And they're really good people. Um, so this is episode number five. Uh, we're actually going to be looking at a cidery today. This is Texas Keeper. They're out of Manchaca. Uh, Texas is a little south of Austin. Uh, the cider I'm going to be having today is a Honey Thief. And it is the perfect mixture of apples and honey. Uh, do want to say before we go any further, I did not mention this in the last episode, and I want to catch you up on this. Um... Please be responsible, drink responsibly, don't drink and drive, and practice social distancing. I know it's the end of the ho the uh, holiday weekend and everything, uh, but you're going back to work, and uh, there may be some people that didn't practice it, and uh, you, know, you don't want to catch anything and take it back to your family. So please be safe and be healthy. Okay, so let's go ahead. Texas Keeper, this is Honey Thief. Uh, you can pick it up along with many other Texas Keeper products at your Whole Foods, your HEBs, your, uh, your uh, Total Wines, and your Specs, along with many other corner stores that sell craft beer. Um. I'm a big fan of the people of Texas Keeper. They're they're really great people. Um, the the cidery itself is beautiful out there, and they have several different um, different uh, ciders on the market. Uh, I'm a big fan of their Grafter Rosé. They have a Grafter Blanc. They have a uh, they have an August Cerise, which is really good. Uh, their number one core is Texas Keeper number one. And then also, they also have a cider vison. So they do have a nice selection of ciders. So here we go. The Honey Thief. Wow, you can really taste the honey on this one. But it's not too sweet. It's, uh, it's not a dry, but... Um, I do like that. Again, I'm going to use a word I've used before, refreshing. And uh, that's what I like in my beers and ciders is it's something I can sit back and enjoy, whether it's hot outside or whether it's cold. That, that's what I'm looking for. Um, I'm not a big fan into dry, so I'm really enjoying this one. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to put it down so I can finish. Uh, once again, Texas Keeper, they are... Just a phenomenal cidery. This is the first cider and only cider that I'm reviewing on these. Um, so I would say definitely go out there, make the trip out to Manchaca, or just look for it in your stores. I'll show it to you one more time. Honey Thief. Really good people making a really good product. And for the last time, because this is the last episode, cheers.